Every animal has its niche, an environment to which it has adapted over time. For the Nile crocodile, it's Africa's great rivers. More than twice the length of a man, the giant reptiles are perfectly adapted to life and water. With eyes and nostrils on the top of their heads, they can conceal their massive bodies in less than a meter of water. But tourist Trevor Scott learned that short legs, long bodies and log-like camouflage aren't quite as effective on dry land, especially in the face of one of terra firma's top predators. We'd heard the night before of uh, a lion kill, so early the next morning we jumped onto the game vehicle and drove to the site of the kill. The lion pride had eaten and they were all lazing underneath shade of trees or under logs. One of the cubs had taken a, a bone away from the kill site, was playing it with it to one side. It lost interest and left it. That's when the croc saw it and came out the water. The young cub came back to now see what was going on. And as it approached, the croc actually roared. As soon as the cub yelped, then all hell broke loose. The male came rushing in and went straight for the tail and back legs of the crocodile and lifted it up off the ground. This croc didn't know which way to turn. Outnumbered 11 to 1, the crocodile is fighting for its life. The sound of the croc roaring and snapping its jaws was unbelievable. When it was actually happening, I felt like the hairs were standing up on the back of my neck. Fortunately, the thieving croc escaped into the water before the lions could inflict a mortal wound. Afterwards, you know, everything went quiet and we all just sat and, and tried to take this all in. What had we just seen? It was fantastic. 